Hi, Steve here from Steve's Internet Guide. In this video, we're going to take a look at using WebSockets and SSL. Now, I've covered configuring Mosquito uh, to use SSL and to use WebSockets in earlier videos and tutorials. And if you haven't actually watched those videos or read those tutorials, then I recommend you go and do that before you continue with this video because we're not going to go into the detailed configuration and testing of SSL and WebSockets. Uh, because I say I've confi I've um, covered that elsewhere. Now I'll put the links to those tutorials and videos below this video so you can uh, access them quite quickly. But in this video we're going to configure Mosquito use both WebSockets and SSL together. We're then going to look how you configure the Python and JavaScript client to use SSL and WebSockets and we're going to test it with both clients, the Python client and the web browser. Okay, the first step is to configure the Mosquito Broker, and here's the configuration here, a very simple configuration. Now, I'm going to use port 8081 for the port. Now, this port is going to be using WebSockets and SSL together. Um, protocol is WebSockets, and I'm setting a HTTP directory. This is optional here, and I use this for quick testing, and I've placed a file in that that's server directory, a very simple HTML file. Now when you actually configure WebSockets or tell the Mosquito broker to support WebSockets it basically gives you access to a web server and we can very simply just connect to that web server using the browser and that tells us WebSockets is working and if we have to connect to that web server using uh, HTTPS as opposed to HTTP it tells us the secure sockets layer is working and I'm going to show you that um, when we look at the testing part of it. And here is our configuration for configuring SSL. And I say that's covered in the um, setting up SSL and Mosquito uh, video and tutorial. Now we just start the broker. And this is what we see when we start the broker. And it's listening on port 8081, which is our WebSockets and SSL port combined. Now we make some simple changes to the Python client to test it and all we do is add these two lines in here, tell it to use WebSockets and tell it to use the certificate. And now we can test it with our Python client to make sure it works and we can test it using our web browser by using HTTPS server name. Now when you do this, when you connect to the web server like this, uh, if you're using a uh, self-signed certificate or a certificate that you've created yourself like I'm doing, and then you might get a, a little nag screen telling you it doesn't trust the certificate and all you have to do is override that and I'll show you a, a screenshot of that screen a bit later on. Uh, so it's nothing to worry about if you're using a commercial certificate that's got the CA built into the browser then you won't get that at all, it should just proceed um, normally. Now we can test using the JavaScript client, we need to make a couple of changes to the, I'm sorry, a couple of changes uh, if, usually just one change to the client and that's to add this into the MQT connect function and this client the actual complete code for this client is available for download on the site and again I'll put the link in in the video in below the video and all you need to do is say is add that to the connection function and you can see it here now you may also need to change the server name for the host um, depending on how it's configured on the server certificate and in my case I use the name Steve Laptop and not the IP address so I had to modify the script like this so to use the Steve Laptop rather than the actual IP address if you don't do that then it will throw an error message and won't work and here's the screenshot that you'll get if you're using, uh, say, you're one of your own CA certificates. Um, you'll just get a, an untrusted connection message from the browser and you just override that. Let's uh, just test this. Now, I'll test it first with the uh, Python client, then we'll use the JavaScript client. So here's my Python script and it's just simply just going to publish a, a message. And I'm using, here you see, sorry, port 8081. And here are the two settings that are important there I tell it to use WebSockets and I give it the certificate and then I run the script so let me just run the script so I'm connecting to the broker it connected OK subscribe to the topic publish the data got the data back and disconnected 
So that's our Python uh, script working. I say I'll make this script available. It'll be on the downloads page for the for this video. So testing it with the JavaScript client, and uh, here's the JavaScript client here. And I'm using Steve's laptop as the host name. I'm using 8081 as the port, and I set SSL to be true down here. So now all I need to do is open up this um, web page. And it's on my local machine, it doesn't need a, a web server. So I just double click it. And then that goes and connects to the Mosquito Broker using WebSockets over SSL. Now you can't see much here. We need to go into Developer and Web Console. And we can see here it's connected to Steve's laptop on 8081. And there it is connected. And if you look at the script, it just basically calls the connection and once it's connection was connected it's connecting to and then the message connected that that's all it does okay now let me just edit this and we'll um, remove that just to show you it's working or not working so we save it and we go back to here and we refresh it and we get an error message which is what we expect now the other test you can do is you can connect to it using HTTPS and the server name and the port which is 8081 and if I've spelled all that correctly no this is not an Apache web server uh, I actually need to give it the name of the file as well and there you see a uh, bit of a spelling mistake in the headline but you get the idea okay if you don't have access to your own mosquito broker you can always use uh, an online broker and this one here works the IOT Eclipse org and it works on port 443 uh, there are other ones that say they work but uh, certainly a couple of that I tested didn't work using uh, WebSockets over SSL now, if you go to the website, there's a tutorial on WebSockets and there's a tutorial on using JavaScript, uh, the JavaScript client. And this tutorial here also has links to how to configure uh, Mosquito to use WebSockets and, and SSL. So that brings us to the end of the video. Uh, if you've got any comments, then use the comment form below. If you liked it, then use the like button. And if you want to know when I publish uh, new videos then you can always subscribe to the channel and over at the website there is actually a newsletter if you want to subscribe to that as well so until next time bye